China's $100 billion Himalayan megadam on the Brahmaputra River represents one of the most ambitious hydroelectric projects ever undertaken. Located in the remote, challenging terrain of the Himalayas, it aims to tap into vast energy resources to power millions of homes. However, this venture raises complex questions about environmental impact, potential geopolitical tensions with India and Bangladesh, and the long-term effects on communities dependent on the river's natural flow. Could the benefits of renewable energy truly outweigh the risks to regional stability and biodiversity? The Brahmaputra River, with its origin on the Tibetan plateau where it is called the Yarlung Changpo, is one of Asia's longest and most forceful rivers. From its high-altitude source, the river descends rapidly through some of the most rugged landscapes on Earth, including the Yarlung Changpo Gorge, an area that plunges deeper than almost any gorge in the world. This sharp descent gives the Brahmaputra an extraordinary flow rate as it carves its way through the Himalayas, creating a force unmatched by most rivers. The region's geography naturally speeds up the river's flow, resulting in immense kinetic energy and making this area a compelling focal point for major engineering projects. For China, the allure of constructing a massive dam on this river goes beyond energy production alone. It reflects broader ambitions to control and harness a river whose reach extends far beyond its borders. The Brahmaputra flows through Tibet, India, and Bangladesh, serving as a critical water source and supporting millions of people downstream. Constructing a dam on the Yarlung Tsangpo is not only a feat of engineering, it also represents a significant strategic undertaking with far-reaching impacts on neighboring countries. The sheer scale of the proposed dam means that it would have implications for the water flow and natural rhythms of the river, which are vital to downstream ecosystems and communities. But what would be the impact on the people and landscapes downstream? This question is central to the concerns of those who depend on the Brahmaputra for agriculture, drinking water, and daily life. In regions like Assam, in India, and northern Bangladesh, the river provides fertile floodplains and sustains agriculture that many communities rely on. Seasonal flooding, in particular, brings nutrient-rich sediments to the soil, which benefits local agriculture. Disrupting the river's flow through a large dam could alter or even eliminate these seasonal patterns, potentially affecting crop yields and food security for communities downstream. There is a concern that altering this flow could also lead to increased risk of floods or droughts in downstream areas, which rely on the river's natural balance. The environmental implications are equally profound. Rivers like the Brahmaputra support a delicate balance of biodiversity. Fish and other aquatic life rely on the natural flow of the river for migration and reproduction. If a dam disrupts these patterns, it could put certain species at risk, and the ecological changes would likely ripple outward, impacting land animals, plants, and overall biodiversity in ways that could be difficult to reverse. Beyond just the local ecosystem, the health of the Brahmaputra influences larger environmental systems systems that stretch across Asia, affecting the Bay of Bengal and influencing weather patterns, fisheries, and marine life that depend on nutrient flows from river sediments. Then there are the geopolitical stakes. China's control over the river upstream places it in a powerful position relative to India and Bangladesh, which are more vulnerable to any changes in the river's flow. This raises the possibility of future water-related disputes, as India and Bangladesh have voiced concerns over potential impacts on their water supply and agricultural stability. With no binding international agreements that mandate equitable water sharing for this river, these countries may face uncertainty about how water resources will be managed and controlled. China's decision-making on this project could set a precedent for future river projects across Asia, highlighting the need for diplomacy and potentially new water sharing agreements that can protect the interests of all nations involved. The Brahmaputra, then, is much more than just a river. It's a lifeline for ecosystems, agriculture, and communities that depend on its consistent flow. While the benefits of such a dam project might seem appealing, particularly in terms of securing resources
forces and asserting control, the potential costs and impacts on downstream regions cannot be ignored. How can such a project be pursued responsibly, ensuring that the ecological balance and human livelihoods are protected? This question remains at the heart of ongoing discussions, and addressing it may determine whether this massive undertaking becomes a model of sustainable development or a source of long-term regional conflict. China's plan to invest $100 billion in a massive dam project on the Brahmaputra River stems from a mix of economic, environmental, and geopolitical ambitions. A question that arises is, why would China dedicate such a vast amount to a single infrastructure project? Part of the answer lies in China's energy demands. As one of the most populous and rapidly industrializing nations in the world, China is among the largest consumers of energy globally. Historically reliant on coal, China has faced serious environmental challenges due to pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. As it seeks to reduce its reliance on fossil fuels, the country is shifting its focus to alternative energy sources, with hydroelectric power being a prominent option. A dam of this scale could provide a substantial supply of clean energy, aligning with China's environmental goals of cutting carbon emissions and reducing coal dependency. This shift toward clean energy is crucial crucial for China's long-term sustainability. Hydroelectric power offers a steady, reliable source of electricity compared to other renewables like solar or wind, which are subject to natural fluctuations. For China, this mega dam represents a strategic asset that supports its goal of achieving carbon neutrality. By investing in such a large-scale project, China is working to create a stable energy source that meets its growing demands while promoting a cleaner energy profile. However, China's motives extend beyond environmental and energy needs, as the project also offers significant geopolitical leverage. Another question to consider is, how does controlling the Brahmaputra River affect China's influence over its neighboring countries? The Brahmaputra originates in Tibet, flows through India, and reaches Bangladesh, making it a crucial water source for both nations. For India and Bangladesh, the river is essential for agriculture, drinking water, and supporting local economies, particularly particularly in the rural regions of northeastern India and Bangladesh. By controlling the river's flow from its upstream position, China could exert influence over these water resources, giving it a unique position of leverage over its downstream neighbors. This control could allow China to regulate water flow during critical times, potentially affecting water availability for millions of people in India and Bangladesh. Water security is a pressing issue for these countries, and China's control over the Brahmaputra's headwaters introduces a new dynamic in regional relations, where water becomes a strategic resource. China's ability to regulate this river introduces the potential for both cooperation and conflict. As a resource that flows across national borders, any significant alteration in the river's flow could have widespread implications. During dry seasons, China's control over the water flow could create scarcity downstream, impacting agriculture and drinking water supplies in India and Bangladesh. In wet seasons, sudden releases of water could lead to floods, further complicating relations between the nations. China's upstream position on the Brahmaputra gives it a powerful advantage as it can influence the availability of water without needing cooperation from downstream nations. For India and Bangladesh, this situation raises concerns about dependency on China for a resource critical to their economies and populations. China's motives in pursuing this project may also reflect broader strategic ambitions beyond regional water management. Another question to consider is, what are the broader geopolitical implications of China's dam on the Brahmaputra for regional security? This dam project aligns with China's Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, a global infrastructure strategy aimed at enhancing China's influence across Asia, Africa, and Europe. By gaining control over a major waterway like the Brahmaputra, China strengthens its influence in South Asia, extending its reach beyond traditional land and trade routes to include control over critical natural resources. This could be seen as a move to establish a dominant position in Asia by securing resources that neighboring countries depend on. Water security, in this context, becomes not only a regional issue but a tool that China can use in diplomatic and geopolitical 
political interactions. India, in particular, has raised concerns over China's dam plans, seeing it as a potential threat to its own water security and environmental stability. If China alters the flow of the Brahmaputra significantly, it could have direct consequences for agriculture, local economies, and social stability in India's northeastern regions. Bangladesh, heavily dependent on the river for agriculture and drinking water, faces similar concerns. Both nations have limited ability to influence China's decisions as an upstream country. This situation places them at a disadvantage as they must navigate potential water shortages or flooding risks that could arise from any modifications China makes to the river's flow. In response, India has explored ways to mitigate the risks posed by China's control of the Brahmaputra. These include developing its own water management projects, increasing its capacity to monitor water resources, and strengthening regional cooperation on water security issues. However, given China's upstream control, India and Bangladesh remain vulnerable to any changes China might decide to implement. The situation emphasizes the complex relationship between natural resources and political power, where control over a river can translate into significant influence over neighboring countries' stability and prosperity. China's $100 billion investment in the Brahmaputra Megadam is a calculated move that goes beyond simply meeting its energy demands. While the dam would provide substantial clean energy and support China's environmental goals, it also serves as a strategic asset that grants China leverage over India and Bangladesh, who rely on the river's resources. This project highlights how large infrastructure projects, particularly those involving shared natural resources, can reshape regional relations by creating new dependencies and power dynamics. China's control of the Brahmaputra positions it as a key player in South Asia's water security, transforming the river from a shared resource into a strategic tool that could redefine the region's political landscape. Building a mega dam in the Himalayas presents unique engineering challenges. The region's high altitude means that construction teams would face extreme weather conditions, limited oxygen, and difficult access routes. Transporting construction materials is complicated due to the area's rugged terrain, steep slopes, and absence of developed infrastructure. Additionally, the Himalayas are prone to seismic activity, adding another layer of risk. This requires advanced engineering techniques to design a dam that could withstand potential earthquakes and landslides. Ensuring stability for such a project involves not only strong engineering designs, but also extensive logistics. A workforce capable of withstanding high-altitude conditions must be mobilized, along with infrastructure to support them. Temporary housing, medical facilities, supply lines, and other necessities would need to be built to accommodate and sustain workers in this challenging environment. Given the unique ecosystem of the Himalayas, even the preliminary steps of construction are likely to be controversial, with many environmentalists voicing concerns over potential habitat disruption. This leads to questions about the sustainability of the construction itself. How can engineers build a stable structure without harming the surrounding ecosystem? What backup systems are in place to respond to possible structural failures. These questions underscore the challenges of balancing large-scale development with environmental conservation. One of the most significant concerns regarding this dam is its environmental impact. Dams inevitably alter the natural flow of rivers, which can disrupt ecosystems that depend on consistent water cycles. Any obstruction of the river's flow risks affecting the biodiversity along its course. Many species have a adapted to the seasonal rhythms of river ecosystems. For example, fish spawning and plant growth often depend on seasonal flooding. By interfering with these patterns, a dam could negatively affect the flora and fauna of the region. Communities downstream are also worried. Both India and Bangladesh rely on the Brahmaputra for drinking water, agriculture, and fishing. If China adjusts the river's flow, it could have serious implications for food security, water availability, and even natural disaster risk. Altering the river's flow could potentially lead to soil erosion, displacement of communities, and an increased risk of floods. How will these communities adapt if water levels fluctuate more dramatically than they are used to? This project 
project has sparked concern from environmentalists and local activists who argue that such disruptions could lead to a cascade of unintended consequences. Soil health, water quality, and the local economy may all suffer. There are ongoing debates about whether the benefits of renewable energy can justify the social and environmental toll on people who rely on the river's natural flow. Can China ensure that the dam doesn't severely impact downstream communities, or will it take a unilateral approach? If the quest for energy dominance will come at the expense of regional harmony, the answers will shape not only the future of hydropower, but also the diplomatic relationships across South Asia.